Today I'm working on a 2010 Audi S4. Just want to make a quick video talking about a coolant leak you see from time to time. This has the three liter supercharged engine. And um, as you can see, some, someone's already been in here and uh, trying to fix the coolant leak. You can see this thermostat has been replaced and they used silicone everywhere, which I don't, I don't, it's not a good idea. Um, the only reason you'd ever want to use silicone on a ceiling surface like this, especially with a rubber O-ring, is if you had like a pitted housing or something like that or there was a reason. If you have clean mating surface, adding silicone to the O-ring is not going to make the repair last any longer. Or it's not, it's, it, it just ends up looking like a, um, a DIY repair. You know, it's not, a, it's not, um, it's not going to improve your situation at all. It'll just make it more difficult to service in the future, as we can see here. But whatever they got in here, they replaced the thermostat housing. This coolant pipe here that goes into this, into the front of the motor, they put silicone all over that and stuck it into the block and um, just chasing coolant leaks. But what it ends up being many times on these is the actual um, oil separator. The, uh, the um, positive crankcase vent valve is right here. It's built into the oil separator assembly. Um, replacing the entire oil separator assembly is the way to is the way to go with this. It's a plastic housing, and um, many times they just many times they just distort. And um, there's coolant passages that run through it that seal it up, and um, the the O ring fails. So they have a high enough failure rate. Just the diaphragm itself, where it's a good idea to replace it rather than replacing the O ring. And um, I would also recommend replacing this hose that goes up to the air inlet as well. This check valve could go bad and you can't get to it again with the supercharger in place. So it's a good time to replace it. Many times when you're pulling it off here, you damage it anyways. So um, yeah, not, not that terrible of a job. Once you pull the intake manifold off and um, you know, pull the lower intake off on the uh, one side, pull this coolant pipe out of the way and you can you can get to it and kind of sneak it out of there but definitely a lot of things need to be removed and um yeah something to look for i guess so thanks for watching